In this CFDs video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the bug where it disables the store and says it's unavailable and says to please come back later and you are unable to purchase ancient coins. So if you're in the Pirate Emporium and you click purchase ancient coins, you shouldn't be able to see the screen. It will give you a bug message where it says store is temporary unavailable. Please come back later. You shouldn't be able to see any of these bundles at all. So if you have the bug, all you want to do is escape. I'll throw a screenshot up of what mine look like so you can get a reference point of what it looks like if you have the bug. And all you want to do is close out of that. Now, you shouldn't be able to toggle the currency either, where I'm doing right now, where you're hitting two. You shouldn't be able to do that at all because the store is completely bugged. So all you want to do is close see if these. I'm not going to close it because mine's fixed. So all you want to do, once see if these is closed, is hit your Windows key or just go to the bottom left corner and type in apps. You're going to go to apps and features and you're going to type in C of thieves and you're gonna click advanced options. Now scrolling down, you're gonna hit reset. This is not going to reset your character or any progression you have in CFDs at all. It's basically a clear cache to get rid of any like app data as it says it has stored on CFDs. Now, if you still can't load the store, go to the Microsoft store. If you bought it off there, that's where I bought mine. That's where I got the problem in the first place and click reset because that is where you're physically purchasing the ancient coins off of if you bought it off Microsoft. If you're on Steam, I am not sure because you do not have the advanced options setting to reset any data. So there might be a setting in Steam where you can do that if you're having that problem on Steam. So once you do that, you should be able to reload the Sea of Thieves. I'm not gonna reload because mine's already open. And all you should be able to do is click one or this button right here, and you should be able to see all these bundles now are available to you for purchase, and you should be able to access the store and toggle any currency or scroll through any pages you would like to purchase any in-game content for Sea of Thieves. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Hit that like full like button if it did. Subscribe, it's free. You can always change your mind. Until next time, guys. Peace.